Hello, um, we're just going to go over uh, what we did here in class today. So here's my um, game, my game character, and I can move forward. My animation is playing, not very quickly. And there's my character, and we jump down. And we'll go back up. Very good. So um, that's all we've got really so far here. Um, so what we're going to just work on today and build on is um, we're going to add a little bit of sound. But I want to show you something very specific with sound. So I'm just going to open up uh, Mono Develop. So let's have a quick look here. So um, first thing is we're going to have um, we've um, added a variable called Audio One, and it's an audio source. So if I go to my character here, I don't have an audio source. I do have on the camera by default an audio listener, and that's uh, how we you know hear audio elements in the game. But I have no audio in the game as of now. So I'm going to go add component, audio, audio source, and just to be aware, I've got two um, audio files here. So so footprint or footsteps. Um, which I should probably edit, but I'll just leave them as they are for now, just for an example. But um, just to be aware that an audio source is not an audio clip. So um, I can drag my audio clip into this audio source. So I'll put that one in there. But here it's looking for an audio source. It's actually not looking for one of these audio files. It's looking for where is this audio source, uh, which has all of the kind of the pan volume pitch properties etc of my audio and this audio source is on the character so what I'm actually looking to drop in here is the character not the audio file now I'm going to go back to my script and I'm just going to get rid of number two I don't need that I'm just going to play one for now um, and down here I've got when I press the buttons play the audio so well it says play actually and then we'll go all the way down to the bottom and we've got, we'll just remove that. So we have this um, personalized function here. It says when I run the function play, or play one, uh, play this audio, and that audio is the audio source. Okay, so uh, we'll save that. And our second uh, audio source variable should disappear. If I do not have a compile error, yeah, that's gone. Um, okay, so now what I want is I want to be able to uh, uh, trigger the um, footstep when the character is walking in its animation. So let's go do that. So my character here is selected. I'm going to go Window, Animation, and at the moment it's uh, let's zoom in here so we can have a very good look Oops, at the character okay uh, we'll just make uh, this audio here is covering the feet so I will um, just turn off um, or make these uh, oops, 3D icons no, let's make them almost invisible so it's not in the way um, okay so there's my character, and when I press play, this is the idle cycle. And I'm going to jump now to the walk cycle. So there he is walking. So I'm going to increase the speed of this. It's a bit slow. There he is walking. And we will uh, double click on this. So there he is. Uh, it's not the most beautiful walk cycle in the world, but that's okay. So let's just go through it frame by frame. So, so there, that's where the, the foot is hitting the ground so on this frame here frame five so in order to play the sound on this frame frame number five we need to add need to add in one of these things here which is a play trigger so i'm just going to delete this one and show you how to add it in so we find the frame that we want and then we hit this uh add event so there's my event and when the event uh, let's click over there when the event is selected over in the inspector i have this here it says function function not selected. Now it's the character that's selected here <clears throat> so any function 
on any script on this game object will be listed here. So we have a customized function called movement and we have a customized function called play1 and that's where we have our play audio. So we're going to select that. So now when we press play it will play the audio on that frame. Okay, so let's have a look at that in the game and see if it actually works. Okay, so you can probably hear that audio. Now it's not beautifully timed, so we need to get in and if we look here, there's lots of unnecessary silence before after and it's a double um, uh, sound effect so we need to um, go into an audio you know editor and, and tidy this up but you can see in principle that that's that's working so if I whoops if I go over here and I walk once I play that part of the animation the audio will play okay so that's it so you have your player you add an audio source um, in our script we have a customized function that says um, play one audio one that play audio one is a variable and we've declared it as an audio source so here we basically uh, in here we put the audio file but in here we put um, the player because that's where the audio source is and then in the animation window of we've just looked at we create an event and that event will trigger um, the play function on the script. Okay, so uh, short but uh, hopefully helpful.